Right, hello everyone. Um, we will continue uh, our lesson on uh, microcontroller programming. I believe we have uh, covered partial of this um, topic in our class previously, but now we are going to continue to do it uh, online. Um, we will learn on uh, instructions, our moving data, arithmetic logical operation, condition statements, our routine. Okay, um, the program structure, the structure of the assembly language, as you can see here in this um, uh, uh, slide, you can see we have um, command part, right? this is the command part, and then we have um, processor directives, right? processor directive, uh, which is this one. And then we have a label. This is basically, supposedly this one will have to, uh, a tab there. And this one should have been uh, indented. And then we have a uh, instruction opcode. And then also operand. Okay, so label is a textual designation for a line in a program or a section of a program. Okay, you may start with alphabet or with up to 32 characters located in the first column of in a program. Right, uh, let me show you um, of a sample program in MPLAB. Um, okay, this is the um, the, the basic uh, program structure uh, we have include uh, uh, and then uh, config all these other processor directive which including this uh, org and then you have a main program and then start you can see there is a, a, a tab here whereby the, the first column okay you can see start is the first column and then loop this is the first column second column we can see is the instruction set or we call it opcode Okay, these are opcode, 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 and then the right next to it is the operand. Okay. Next, we will cover. Um, uh, if you look at this, this is the program structure. You can see um, microcontroller declaration uh, settings, uh, microcontroller parameters. These two is basically the directive, uh, including this one. Okay. Processor directive, or sometimes people call it preprocessor directive, and then you will go through the main program, okay, uh, start, and then in the next column, okay, and then the end directive, okay, to inform the assembly. So towards the end, uh, at the end of the line, you have N here, okay, um, the, to inform the assembly that this is the last line of the program code. And then programming technique, uh, I'm, I'm not going to cover this um, um, flowchart, but whatever that you program, you you have to uh, create an algorithm whereby you have to put it or draw it in a form of flowchart so that it's easier for you to uh, write the program. Okay, so usually you have a start, okay, start with a oval shape and then end and end with the oval shape. And then uh, the process, whatever you want to do here, okay, just uh, uh, put it down here, and then going through the main program, okay. So as you can see here, input and output um, with this, um, uh, I don't know what they call it, trapezoid or something, and then decision making with a diamond shape, uh, 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 decision making, and then we have a terminator, which is actually the start and the end and uh, so on and so forth. So it's entirely up to the um, uh, programmer how to write the program, how to uh, design the, the flow of the program. But basically, um, the, the flowchart will help the programmer to write the program smoothly. Okay, assembly language. Uh, this is about assembly language, uh, PIC 16F84. Um, generally, it's uh, for PIC. Um, 
but um, you need to uh, check on the uh, different type of um, uh, PIC microcontroller. Basically, it has uh, 35 instructions total. Um, the size is uh, in a 14-bit word. What does it mean by 14-bit word? Word, uh, what is word? Word is, you have um, um, smaller than this. That one was eight. That's one byte. And this is one word. So one word, how many bits? Usually one one word is 16 bit. But in uh, for PIC, we only use up to 14 only. Okay, this is uh, 0, 1, and so on until 13. Okay, total is uh, 14 bit. Okay, so this uh, 14 bit uh, is divided into of code and then uh, operand. Okay, um, so this length of um, instruction uh, can be, for example, move LW zero times, sorry, V here, move LW zero times 20, for example. So this uh, instruction and uh, output and operand will be, uh, is, is actually represented with uh, 13, a 14 bit word. Right, instruction set summary, um, they are grouped into three uh, major categories, um, which is which are byte or, or oriented. Okay, what it means by byte oriented, meaning it's um, um, processed by. Right, or we call it 8 bit and then we have a bit oriented operation which means uh, process bits only and then uh, literal and control operation um, this one we when we were to do uh, jump or branching right so if you can see the uh, instruction set in the um, data sheet this is how it looks like, okay? If you notice in the data sheet, we have here byte oriented and then bit oriented. Okay, byte oriented, as I mentioned just now, is 8 bit. Okay, and WF, FD, and WF. Uh, sorry, this one add, this one N, and so on and so forth. Okay, clear F, clear W, uh, complement F and so on. So this is, uh, these are byte oriented. Bit oriented, uh, for example, this one, bit clear F, uh, bit set F, uh, bit test F, uh, skip is if clear, bit test F, skip is if set. Clear means zero, set it means one. Okay, so that is byte oriented. And then we have uh, literal and control operations. What is literal? literal and control literal is um, what is seen exactly what is written okay for example uh, move just now the, the example that i gave just now move lw zero times 20. so actually move 20 into working register that's what it actually does and then other than that we have branching go to and then uh, Return, read, 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 sorry. Return here, call, right? So uh, these are branching. It, branching usually takes a two instruction uh, cycle. If you can see here, call is two. Here is go to is two instruction cycle. Return from interrupt, two instruction cycle. Return with literal in W, two instruction cycle, and return is two instruction cycle. Right. Um, directive, um, I'll just cover it briefly. Uh, directive is, uh, as, you, as, you, as we have covered just now, directive is the, the part 
uh, which in the beginning of the uh, assembly code, um, we call it pre-processing stage. What does the pre-processing stage do? We introduce the uh, introduce or establish um, micro controller, and then what we do? Um, set parameters. The directive do many things. Uh, set aside space for variables. Set assembly to include additional source file. Then the start address of your program and so on. Okay. Assembler provides six basic type of directive: uh, control directive, uh, conditional assembly, data directive, and so on. Okay. We're not going to go into detail um, for this class. You just do the basic. Uh, you we're going to use this um, include, okay, and some of these and then config, uh, which means data directive. 